Hello everyone. My name is Kumar Abhishek. I am an undergraduate student in the Department of Electronics and Electrical Communication Engineering at the Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur. Let me introduce you to my Google Summer of Code project this year with BeagleBo.org being mentored by Matt, Honyu and Charles. The project is titled Beagle Logic and aims to realize a logic analyzer as a learning tool on the BeagleBone Black, but will also work with the BeagleBone as well. So let's proceed to the slides. Okay, so here we are. This is a formal abstract of the project. What's important is the emphasis on use of this logic analyzer as a learning tool. Uh, it's important because normally when uh, interfacing a device with a microcontroller, I recount my experiences when I just started into the world of embedded electronics in grade 6. Uh, there was a lot of uh, faith involved whenever uh, this device was to be interfaced with a microcontroller in which we really didn't concern ourselves with the way that things are actually working unless the fault arised and unless there was access to a debugging tool like an oscilloscope used to try and visualize it with an LED but it didn't quite help you know. So uh, the approach of Beagle logic is having wiretaps on the signals that uh, are going to the device and here you can see the wiretaps from the I2C bus into the inputs to Beagle logic and then uh, right here on your screen you can visualize the signals that were just sent and the data that was exchanged. Of course there is no direct correlation between uh, the I2C bus here and the output which you see in this mockup, but then you get the idea. This is made possible by the two independent programmable real-time units, which are essentially RISC microcontrollers running on the AM335X system on chip, which powers the BeagleBone plaque and the BeagleBone, and it runs independent of the ARM core, which is running Linux, and it has access to almost all the hardware subsystems on board and it has access to the system memory as well. Thus, the user code can be executing on the ARM core while the PRUs can continue on logging the pin states in the background and that's how Beagle logic is made possible. Beagle logic can also be used to debug any initial circuit of course but then you'd have to be careful of the logic levels lest you damage your Beagle bone black. We also note here that support for remote debugging and instrumentation is essentially free as the BeagleBone has networking capabilities. The project builds upon the SIGROC project. I'll talk about that in a subsequent slide. In short, the BeagleBone Black is the only board you need not just to uh, make your circuit but also to debug your circuit and understand what's actually going on. Satisfy your curiosity and all this at negligible extra cost or performance penalty. Now we come to the main features of Beagle Logic. The first feature being that it will run off pretty much any AM335X system on chip which has the programmable real time units. This includes the BeagleBone, the BeagleBone Black and its derivatives. There's absolutely no requirement of any CAPE or FPGA for this. Here I'd also like to note that a simple logic level translator cape would be a good idea as you might want to debug circuits external to the BeagleBone Black and they might not have 3.3 volt logic levels and you will also have to uh, have an extra layer of protection between the BeagleBone Black and the hardware. So Beagle Logic would support up to 14 inputs. 12 inputs uh, via the LCD HDMI interface pins remapped to the PRU and uh, 2 pins which are shared by the onboard EMMC. If you decide to disable it then you can have access to 14 inputs. The resources that Beagle Logic would be using are the LCD and HDMI interface as the pins will get remapped onto the programmable real-time units. Then the programmable real-time units of course and the internal memory if you'd like to have access to 2 extra inputs. I list here uh, workarounds to the display in case you'd like to have. Uh, the first is remote desktop of course. Then there is the Google Summer of Code project of Beagle Android remote display which allows you to use any Android tablet or phone as a display to the Beagle Bone Black uh, by connecting it through the USB cable. And also if you need a small LCD uh, for displaying some error or status messages or 
a small image maybe so you can try the LCD over SPI with the FBTFT kernel driver and if your application requires the use of the programmable real-time units then you'd have to run Beagle logic on another Beagle Boon Black or Beagle Boon. Sigrock is an open source library for signal analysis which supports uh, capturing data from a, a wide variety of hardware such as digital multimeters, oscilloscopes, and of a particular interest, logic analyzers. Uh, the key components of SIGROC for our project are LibSIGROC, which is the core library, and I'll be implementing the bindings for the programmable real-time unit running on top of this. LibSIGROC decode, which is a scripted and stackable protocol decoder for digital signals. Stackable uh, really means that you can have device specific decoders over generic protocol decode for example tell the time from the i square c conversation between a microcontroller and a ds1307 so uh, these are the main components or deliverables for the beagle logic project uh, the first one is the pru firmware which will be capturing the data this will be running on pru1 it will be written in assembly language. The sample rate here I mentioned is best deferred because there are issues of latency which will be resolved as I go along. I'll be using the UIO kernel driver for prototyping and will move on to a remote proc implementation as a stretch goal. Here on the next screen, you can see my development environment setup using a sample application for the programmable real-time units for testing various firmware and strategies for data capture and storage. Now we move on to the server, the backend, which will be written partly in C and partly in Node.js. I'll be starting from SIGROC CLI and building upon it to add networking capabilities. Then the backend would be able to send raw data to the host in case of being used as a remote instrument for SIGROC. Or it can also perform the necessary processing on the data and serve it like a web page. This will be the case with a web client. This will be uh, implemented till the midterm evaluation after which the works would focus on development of the front end which is quite interesting and challenging as well. This is a web based front end. Uh, the mockup you must have seen earlier in the slides. This will use the WaveDrum library to render the timing diagrams into your web browser. There will be a socket.io connection between the web client and the server which is running on the BeagleBone. It will allow you to access all the basic features of a logic analyzer. As you can see here, uh, you can select the signals you want to uh, see on the diagram and then you can configure a more useful name like clock or data for these signals and then you can configure the triggers and protocol decoders to apply on the data if any and then you can and then you click on the capture button here and you get the waveforms so if you'd like to know more you can visit beaglelogic.net the embedded kitchen.net is my personal blog and i'll be posting regular updates here then you have the code at GitHub at this repository. The libsigrog bindings are separate as all the work that I'll do will be merged upstream. You can find me on IRC at the free node network, nickname Abhishek underscore. Uh, and if you'd like to discuss, you can come on to hash beagle dash gsoc. This is the eLinux wiki page which uh, has all the links in one place. Thanks for watching.